Let's continue our journey exploring this incredible mitzvah of Tzedakah. Today we're going to learn the Gemara in Baba Basra, Dav Tesamud Beis. The Gemara says as follows, V'ama Rabbi Yitzchok, Ma'i dichsiv roidev tzedakah v'chesed yim tzachayim tzedakah v'kovit. Somebody who chases after the pursuit of the mitzvah of tzedakah and chesed, he will find laugh, tzedakah, and covet. Mishum de roidev tzedakah, yim tzedakah, says Rabbi Yitzchak, what kind of a promise is that in the Pasuk? Because he pursues tzedakah, he's going to be a recipient of tzedakah. That, that's not encouraging at all. Ela loimar lecha kol aroidev achar tzedakah HaKadosh Baruch Hu mamtzi loy ma'os v'oise bahem tzedakah. Rather it's to teach you that somebody who chases after the mitzvah of tzedakah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will provide for him money to enable him to do the mitzvah of tzedakah incredibly. As a start, we should know that the requirement of this posuk is somebody who's called a roidev tzedakah. Somebody who himself is looking for opportunities to give. Uh, I built a school and in the process of doing so, I did a lot of fundraising in those years. And I had many incredible donors who bought into the vision of the project and contributed. But only one ever phoned me and said, I heard you building a Torah school in an area which has none. I'd like to be a part of that project. I want to give. That's a Rodef Tzedakah. His eyes are open and looking for opportunities to give. Everybody else, when you pick up the phone, ask for a meeting, put your tail between your legs and go and beg, they will give and they'll give happily and generously, but they're not quite yet a Rodef Tzedakah. Says Rabbi Yitzchok, the brocha of a Rodef Tzedakah. Amongst other things, besides long life and incredible respect, is the financial means to enable you to continue with your wishes of being a big distributor of tzedakah. And the Maharal elaborates on the entire Gemara, and we're just going to focus on the part of this promise of being given additional monetary means in order to pursue your dreams of being a big Baal tzedakah. And the Maharal says as follows, V'zeh ki amashpia doime lemayan a person who gives is most comparable to a spring of water in the ground. Just like a spring sends its waters out to far distant land, the waters come up from the spring and actually disperse out of the spring into the land surrounding it. So too it is a person who gives of his finances to others. The money comes into his resources and he gives it out to others. That's the most comparable marshal in the world, says the Maharal, of a giver of tzedakah. Like a spring that's retrieving underground waters and giving them out into the world. Lekach Hashem Yisbarach Ashehu Mekor Therefore, Hashem, who is the source of all wealth, Hamashpia El Hakul, the one who gives to everyone, Mashpia a love Kadesh Yuchal Ashpia. He gives to this person to enable him to give out. Kumoisha Mayan, Kashemav Mispashtim Lechutz. Just like a spring, when its waters overflow out. The source of where the water is coming from flows into that spring, new water, in order that it shouldn't be lacking. And the more that that spring gives out, the more water that's fed to it from the source. And if the spring stops dispensing of its water out, 
then the source stops giving it water. But Davazir Bechina Gedoyle Ma'oid. The Maral says this is a very, very uh, fundamental aspect. Shekola Shem Moisif Lasois Tzedoka, Hashem Yisbarach Mashpia Loi Lasois Tzedoka. The more a person gives Tzedoka, the more Hashem gives him the wherewithal and the means in order to do Tzedaka. Like we see in the marshal of the spring, then the source gives it water. The Maral gives a marshal, it's not a marshal. It's the true picture of how finances work in the world. The Torah says, you can either be a person who holds on to the money that comes into their pocket, and then when you have what you need, Hashem stops giving. Or you can be a mashpia, you can be a mayan, where the money that comes in is just a conduit to flow out to others. When that happens, then you're on a track to receive super wealth from Hashem. To become the conduit and flow and giver into this world of resources where they're desperately needed, but they'll be funneled through your pocket. Says the Maharal, that's Pshat in Rabbi Yitzchok. If you read a Tzedaka, a person is looking for opportunities to give, and the money is flowing out to the right places from your pockets, you are connected to the source of all wealth, which is Hashem, and His Mashpia to you continuously to refill and refill and refuel your pockets in order to enable you to give further. The Maharal takes this marshal even further and he uses it to explain the Gomorrah that we learned together in Baba Basra and Daf Yud about Rav Papa, where the Gomorrah says there, anybody who is malim einav min tzedakah kil oivad avod someone who turns a blind eye from tzedakah, it's as if you worship idols. He says as follows, Ulufichach amar kola malim einav min tzedakah, and therefore it says, anybody who turns a blind eye to tzedakah, and you don't give to others. Harehu, listen to these words. min Hashem Yisbarach. You are detaching yourself from God. Ashehu Makor Chaim. Mashpia. He's the source of life. He's the giver. And you don't need to be given to. And therefore, you become detached. You're not cleaving to God. You lose your relationship, your connection to Him. And it says, if you're cleaving to a vodazora, which are broken holes, pits in the ground that can't even retain the water and they don't give to others. Hamalim einav mina tzedaka poyresh atzmoi min Hashem yisbarach ashehu mashpia. And so it is that a person who doesn't give tzedaka, you are pulling yourself away from God. V'dovak b'avodazora she'ena mashpia klal. Yeish l'havin etzir. You need to understand this. Now again, the Maharal is using this marshal to explain something so fundamental. He's saying, if you're not a giver of tzedakah, you have the means and you don't give it out, then there's no need for that spring to be refueled with water. And therefore the pathway which joins the source of the water to that spring dries out. I, I like to share this piece in the Maharal because I feel it gives a very vivid picture in your mind which you can live with every time you give, that you see yourself as a spring that's dispensing its water out and knowing that the water is going to come back in, fresh new water straight from Hashem into your pockets again to allow you to continue with these incredible mitzvah that you've committed yourself to. And I want you to know that the marshal is more than a marshal because the language of the Maral really explains what this mitzvah does. He says, in his own words, that a person who turns away from tzedakah, 
you yoitze min Hashem Yisbarach. You leave in God. Poresh atzmo min Hashem Yisbarach. You're pulling away from God. Einu dovok boy. You don't have a connection to Him. Those are powerful words. The Moshe is a demonstration of that, that the connection and the funnel dries out. But he's telling you something more. Experientially, you have no relationship to God. You see, we learned together that Hashem promised us that the road to financial success is by giving to Docker. And there's resistance there. It's still hard for us to do. Why? Because there's a gap. It doesn't make sense. It's illogical. No business advisor in the world would tell you that this is the pathway to build a great business. It goes against our business intuition and logic. But Hashem said that's the way to do it. And therefore there's this massive leap of faith that we have to take. It's like, <gasps> you feel this pit in your stomach that you're going to have to commit to this and it's going to turn over in your head and eventually if you've got the guts, you'll take a plunge and you'll take a risk. And that risk will be to depend on God. That's called Imuna. That's called the relationship with God. If you want to know, when you get to Shemaim and they say to you, did you do business with Imuna? That means... Did you hear the Torah's instruction of how to become wealthy? Did it leave you with a pit in your stomach because you knew it went against all logic and all sound business practices? But you did it anyway because you trust Hashem. And you trust that if He wrote that in His Torah, Aser to Aser, that if I give my money, I'll become wealthy. If I chase after Tadaka, He'll give me more money to give Tadaka. I'm never going to lose out by giving Tadaka. Did you trust his words? That's what Imuna means. When the Torah gives me an instruction which forces me to take a risk, something which goes against my logic, and I do it because I know he's the most reliable being in the world, and if he says it, it will happen, then you're doing business with Imuna. And at that moment, you forge a relationship with Asher. That's where the connection is formed. And I can tell you, no experience of tefillah, no incredible share that you listen to, will connect you more to Hashem than a decision to be fully committed to the midst of the dock and to give it in its ultimate form, 20%. At that moment when you make that call, He steps into your life and into your business world and into your workplace. Almost immediately a conversation will begin with you and him. And it will go something like this, Hashem, listen, taking a big chance here. The, uh, my heart says no, but my head says I've got to trust you. Uh, are you in this with me now? I want to see this work. And you start talking to him. And you start watching in your business his hand and seeing him. And you've brought him into your life. You've got a dvaikus with Hashem. You connected to him. You've just connected yourself to the Makor Ma'im Chaim, to the source of life, to the source of Panosa, to the source of everything you've wanted in your life. Just with that decision. Everything else we're going to discuss through Shurim onwards are going to be big, big life changes that are required from a person. This, strangely enough, although it's the biggest step you'll have to make, it's relatively simple after you've made it. It becomes a decision. It's an allocation of funds and your life will continue pretty much as normal except that you will sense and taste a connection to him and an experience of financial brocha which you could never ever have imagined. Not only that, the experience of being a giver is incredibly geschmack. You'll feel wealthy long before your time because you'll be having a big effect on people, much more than people which have many more resources than you very, very early on in your life. The mitzvah of tzedakah. Being a Baal tzedakah is like being a spring. And the more you give, the more that has to come to you from the source of all life, from Hashem, 
the stronger your connection, the deeper the connection. If you want vacus, you want a relationship, you want to know what it means to do business with a muna, then start to take the plunge in this mitzvah of tzedakah.